Hey guys, I'm here from Transformers and Video Games and welcome back to the channel. My wife and I recently had a little trip to New York City and as always we stopped off at one of my favorite stores in Manhattan called Image Anime for a little bit of a toy hunt. This store sells all sorts of awesome collectibles that can't be found at most brick and mortar shops. I'm going to leave their address in the description. If you're ever in the area, I would highly recommend stopping by and checking it out. We'll start things off with a not so quick scan of the perimeter of the store. A good portion of the wall space is lined with beautiful glass display cases full of all kinds of very cool action figures and collectibles. One nice thing about Image Anime is that they're totally fine with their customers taking pictures and video footage inside their store. I've been to other places that sell collectibles in the city where they have no photography signs posted, which is a policy that I quite honestly have never understood. In the parts of the store where they don't have glass display cases, they pretty much have a floor to ceiling stock of box toys, model kits, DVDs and Blu-rays, stuffed animals, and even miscellaneous clothing items like t-shirts and hoodies. This footage was taken above the checkout counter. As you can see, they have items up top there that I'm sure they'd need a ladder to reach. As a Transformers collector, I found some of the figures in this section very cool to see, including Masterpiece Thrust, Skywarp, MP36, which is the toy accurate version of Masterpiece Megatron, there's Shockwave, Beast Wars Megatron, Masterpiece Inferno, and even Titan's Return Trypticon. Below that you can see a number of Marvel Legends figures. I'm not that familiar with that toy line, so I don't know if those are recent or older figures. And then down below you can see that they do have some Power Rangers figures. The first glass display case that we'll take a look at here had a number of awesome figures on display, including some loose Masterpiece figures, some DC and Marvel action figures and statues, and then a variety of Transformers, including some boxed Autobot cars down below. Let's take a closer look. The Masterpiece Transformers figures on the top shelf here are a little bit cluttered, but I do think they look really good. There's the Beast Wars version of Megatron fighting Optimus Primal, and then on the left you've got the anime accurate version of Wheeljack. And I've got to admit that that Wheeljack looks a lot better than I thought it was going to based on the initial online promotional pictures I'd seen. Down below here you could see the Mezco version of Jason from Friday the 13th. I actually picked that figure up a couple of months ago, and to be quite honest with you, I was a little bit surprised at how small it was. I'd had some of the cloth NECA figures, and they look a little bit taller, just a little bit bigger all around. So again, I was a bit surprised at how small the Jason was, but I still think it's a really cool figure. Now back to some more Transformers. In the bottom right there, you can see the old Apple iPod docking station, white version of Optimus Prime unless it was supposed to be Ultra Magnus without the battle armor, I, I don't remember offhand. There's the Walmart reissue of G1 Optimus Prime. I was a little bit surprised to see that there. Down below here, we've got a number of boxed Masterpiece Autobot cars. Now I don't have Masterpiece Hot Rod yet, but when I do get it, I'd like to get the Target Master version that you see there. I picked up the white repaint of Masterpiece Sunstreaker, uh, known as Cordon, up top there. That's a pretty cool figure. They've got MP17+, Plus, which is a relatively new figure. And then if I'm not mistaken, some of these other ones are just older releases, uh, but are still pretty cool nonetheless. Here's the movie Masterpiece version of Ironhide, who's actually available at Toys R Us here in Canada. On the top shelf, there's a couple of large figures. There's, of course, Fortress Maximus, and if I'm not mistaken, the San Diego Comic-Con version of Devastator. There is Optimus Prime and Megatron looking awesome. Sunstreaker in a very cool action pose. I like the look of that Beast Wars Megatron. I'm going to have to watch a couple of reviews on that and take a closer look at it. Then of course here is the reissue Optimus Prime going for a whopping $80 US. And another look at the Apple iPod docking station convoy which I will get around to getting at some point in the future. Image Anime of course has a lot of other collectibles beyond Transformers. The next two glass cases are all pop vinyl figures behind glass. 
Now, I don't know why these ones were locked up behind glass other than maybe the fact that they look cool on display. Um, or maybe these ones are rare or worth a little bit of money because they did have a lot of other pop vinyl figures that weren't locked up behind glass. This next shelf is all Star Wars figures and I think it looks fantastic. Maybe somebody can leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know, is this Star Wars Black Series or maybe another higher grade of Star Wars collectible? I'm not that familiar with the Star Wars action figures just because I don't collect them. But uh, again, I think these ones looked fantastic on display. It's a shame because the shelf right underneath had some other cool Star Wars figures, but my footage didn't turn out. It was really dark, so I just didn't bother including it in this video. Got a variety of things on this shelf, including some Macross figures. There's, of course, C-3PO and R2-D2. Down below here, you've got a very cool version of Voltron. I'm not 100% sure which version that is. If somebody knows, maybe let me know in the comments. If I'm not mistaken, this display here on the right, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure these are Gundam figures. Uh, another line of toys that I do think look very cool, but that I don't collect. I'm not really familiar with the figures on this shelf, but I do see a sign here saying that they're figure arts figures. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that all the figures on this shelf uh, fall under that line. Again, if somebody knows otherwise, just let me know in the comments. Now down below here, we've got some very awesome Macross figures. Other than, uh, of course, G1. Jetfire and there was also a Macross version of it that I've got on my collection. I don't have any other um, Macross Valkyrie figures, but again, I do think they're very cool. I've always been a big fan of Street Fighter. There's Blanca and Ken, and of course my go-to character in the game, Ryu, getting ready to throw what I'm sure is going to be an awesome fireball. Now the space above all the glass cabinets, I guess, doubles as storage space, uh, as well as somewhere else to display more figures. Up top there you could see a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set. Uh, I don't know why I didn't ask how much that was, um, because if it's the one I'm thinking, it's a pretty cool set. Uh, some of these are Power Rangers figures, and then some of the other figures here I'm just not familiar with, so if anybody knows, just let me know in the comments. Now based on what I'm seeing on a number of the boxes here, and of course the sign that's dead center in the display, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that these are all SH Figure Arts figures in this cabinet. I think for any fan of Gundams, they're really going to like this next section of the video. Here are a couple of examples of Gundam uh, boxes where I think they have really nice box art, especially the first one there, the, the white box I think looks really good. Now Gundams are something that I never got into despite the fact that they're robots. I think for me, I just never wanted to go through the effort of putting them together. But you can see here all these boxes, if I'm not mistaken, are Gundams. And if you look closely, you can see that in many cases they have four or five of the same figure. So there's absolutely no shortage of stock here at uh, Image Anime. Now this is the last display that we're going to look at in the video. Of course, here's some more Gundam figures. Now similar to the pop vinyls, I'm not sure why these ones are behind glass as opposed to the stacks of boxes that we just looked at there out in the open. Uh, you know, it could be that these are pricier Gundam sets or, um, you know, maybe just these are random ones that they thought displayed nicely. Tough to say. Uh, if anybody has any insight, you know, be sure to leave me uh, a comment and let me know what you think. I'm not really sure why they have that sign there that says display only. I'm only guessing that possibly some of these Gundams are uh, maybe belong to employees of the store or local collectors that have been kind enough to display part of their collection in the store behind glass. Of course, with the understanding that no one's going to go ahead and sell it.
Now they did have a nice variety of DVDs and Blu-rays. Um, I did specifically look and ask for Transformers related ones. I didn't see any, but the guy said that they do carry them and that they must just be sold out at the moment. All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave it at that for today. Thank you very much for joining me for my toy hunt here at Image Anime in Manhattan. If you're ever in the area, be sure to check it out. I'm going to leave the address in the description. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Take care.